Hello there everybody, this is Seawalk the Plan One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. So, last time, we we acquired the Light of the Desert, we got an achievement called Light of the Desert, <laughs> actually, and we cured Rosa with it, so now she joins us on our adventure. And we also found out that the bad guys, or Golbez's Red Wings, are going to going to the uh, castle of Fabul next to steal another crystal, so we can't allow that to happen, so let's get into a battle, actually, because we got new enemies here on Mount Hobbs. Because we are going to have to mount, cross Mount Hobbs in order to get to the place that we're going to need to go. So, ye, yeah, That's what we're going to do. So anyway, uh, these spirits, I believe, I don't know what the heck to do with them. I could probably, like, scan them and be all, like, seeing what their weaknesses are or something. Okay, let's see. 86 HP and weak against holy, which, uh, nope. Nope. Unfortunately, we do not have access to that sort of attack, and holy crap! Yeah, look at that damage Gilbert's giving out now. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. That is indeed what we are talking about. Yeah. So, if you go over here, actually, uh, there is a little bit of a point where you can save your game. And there are also treasure chests here. It's a tent. We got a potion. We also have a golden needle and a battle. Of course. What did you think was going to happen? So, uh, anyway, these are the gargoyles. They are pretty powerful for this point in the game, unfortunately, so... Yeah, your best bet is probably just to aim with Rosa's arrows. Since they are indeed flying enemies. So, you know. Just gotta kill them one at a time. Yeah, see, even in the back row they give out plenty of damage. Alright, so let's use ice on them, just to see if they are weak... If, if they are weak to that sort of thing. Nope. Yeah, didn't think so. All right, so let's aim again, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just kill him with uh, Cecil, and not leave Rosa to do anything. Okay, and we also got 960 Gill. Okay, cool. Don't worry, we're gonna get, we're gonna actually have a use for the Gill later on, because well, if we're going to a castle, obviously there's gonna be a shop there. So, yep. They're gonna have a castle there, and, of course, it might have a shop for us. Which, knowing this game's luck, it probably will. Alright, oh, come, come on, man! Come on! Does this game ever give me a break? No? Okay. I guess that's fair. It's not fair to me, but it's fair to the game, so, yeah. This might be new enemy action. Oh. Combinations, actually. Ew. Combos. Alright, let's actually try out that fire spell, actually, that we got in battle. So yeah, you can pretty much kill anything with fire. Just kill them all with fire, that's what we say, and it didn't even do anything at all. Yeah. I was hoping it didn't do anything, and Rosa's almost dead, okay. And there goes Gilbert. There he goes. Yeah, see how his commands, like, go away? Yeah, that basically means he's hiding now. When he's at low enough HP. And Rose is dead. Great. We got a first down team neighbor, so... Team neighbor. Blah. So, we gotta revive Rosa with a phoenix down. And, uh, when Gilbert's hiding, he can only do, like, one command, which is basically waste a turn. Called show. And, unfortunately, that's pretty much all he does for the rest of the thing. Kind of think of it like the Defeatist ability in Pokemon, except it's even worse. <laughs> like, Defeatist as an ability in Pokemon is, like, really stupid. Like, I think only, like, one Pokemon has it. I think it's Archaeops or something that has it. And, uh, and that lowers your attack as soon as your HP hits, like, half. Think, think of Gil Gilbert's hiding. Like, uh, defeatist, only worse. Yeah. 
Actually, it's a whole lot worse. Because with that, you don't even get to do anything. Which kind of makes me wonder, like, after the whole Anna fiasco, or Anna ghost thing that he had going on there, you, you would think, you would think that Gilbert would get rid of that thing, but get rid of that command, but nope. He doesn't. He just doesn't. Alright, so we got skeletons here, actually. Skeletons are weak to fire, so, yeah. Just kill them all with fire. Yeah. That's basically what you gotta do. I'm just gonna skip over, like, Gilbert's turn, because I, I just want to get to Rydia quickly and just end these guys. Like crazy. Okay. And with that, that should be Den. Yep. It's Den. And wow, we got plenty of go for that, and we got plenty of experience for that. And also Gilbert gained a level, so that's awesome. And we got, ooh, holy arrows. Okay, so that's a pretty good, uh, no, that's not it. Uh, that's a pretty good, uh, uh, type of arrow for Rosa, because, because they're holy elements, and those gargoyles could be weak to the holy thing, so, yeah, pretty good idea for you to pick up those. But, uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Does it actually, like, lower the attack? Because, oh, it raises the attack slightly, okay. Alright, I'll just equip those right away. And, ooh, we got a thing right here. What's that? Those clothes. He must be a monk of Fabul. Ha! Look at him going all like, I'm a jump on you people like Goombas. Just go on and say hi again, okay? Okay. And look at that guy go. Look at this guy, Yang, go. He's amazing, or young, or whatever you want to call him. They pronounce it, um, in the DS version, they pronounce it, like, young or something. So I'm thinking I'm gonna pronounce it that way. Alright, you go kick their ass. Yeah! And, uh-oh, we got a guy. That one looks tough. Let's help him! Yes, let us indeed help him out. And look at that, we got young into our party now. So this is a mother bomb, and oh god, uh, 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 Jesus. Okay, Rydia's almost dead, and Rydia's dead, cool. I always wanted, I always wanted Rydia to die immediately in battle. Correct. Do we have any, okay, there it is. There are the Phoenix Downs. Okay. So, Young here has, like, commands. He has build up, which is basically like, a. Attack power doubles, and you're gonna have to wait a while for the attack to actually come out. So, yeah, gonna have to wait for a bit. Let's try aiming at these guys. Alright, cool, we got the summon off. Sweet. And, whoa! Dude, that is a whole crap of load of damage. And, oh! Yeah, it's not my fault, Yang's in the back row, so unfortunately, don't! Yang's in the back row, so he's not gonna give as much damage as he would. But trust me when I say Yang is a pretty, or Young actually. Uh, Young is an act is actually a pretty good party member to have at this point in the game. That's because he is. And I'm gonna use a potion on Rydia. And ooh, okay, that's not good. So basically, heal up everybody as fast as you can because when he pops up like that, that means he's almost ready to explode. Or she, mother bomb, whatever this is. Okay, I'm gonna use cure on everybody. And uh oh. Let's just heal up people. Let's just heal up things. And Radio's not that great, okay. He's not that great of healing, actually. That's what that's Rose's department, actually. Okay, so meanwhile I'm just gonna have Young and Cecil attack and oh! Okay, that didn't even KO them at all, okay. <laughs> I was kind of worried there for a second. I forgot how much dam how much damage it did for a second, but... Looks like we're okay. And I barely did a thing. Sure. So now the Mother Bomb is going to split up, in split up into six different bomb enemies, so... Yeah, there's a total of... 
uh, 11 people in the battle right now. Seriously. So yeah, this could potentially go on for a bit. And wow. Wow. Uh. Uh. <laughs> that was... That was... That was weird. Okay. Ah, self-destruct. Please don't get... And of course! Of course, mate. You are gonna use that on video anyway. Of course you were. Of course. And of course, Rydia does not gain any experience at all. Great effort, Rydia. I like your green hair. But then again, Rosa gained a level anyways, and... Oh, she learned life. Okay. Really would have helped to use that, because life is actually a really good spell. Because it revives fallen party members without the need for a phoenix down. Thank you for coming to my aid in my hour of need. I'm the captain of the monks of Fabul, Young. My men and I were training here on Mount Hobbs, and suddenly we were attacked by hordes of monsters. My men were all killed. I'm the only one left alive. We're headed to Fabul. A man called Golbass is using Baron to collect the crystals. Then they will be coming after Fabul's wind crystal. Yes, Dancian's crystal was also stolen. Wing? Good God! That wing was for the exclamation point. Our main force was all killed. Or mo shouldn't that be our main forces were all killed? I don't know. Those in the castle have only just begun their training. If we're attacked now, most likely those monsters were sent by Golbez. In order to weaken Fabul's defenses? If that's the case, they should be coming any minute. We'll help you. Quickly, we must go to Fabul. But I can't let you get caught up in all this. This is our fight, too. I'm the Prince of Damsian. Rosa and I were from Baron. And this girl, I was deceived by King Baron and then... Of course, implying everything. You have your own reasons as well, I see. I apologize. May I request your help? Of course. Let's go. Fabul is east of the mountain. Let's hurry. And behold, this is the only Final Fantasy that actually allows five party members instead of the usual three or four. Amazing. Well, then again, I think one of the fantasies actually allowed six party members, I think. So, yeah. Anyway, let's check out a Young's equipment. See, look at that. He's got a flame claw. He barely has anything on him. He's like naked. He's barely anything on him. I just realized I, I I didn't even I didn't even get any equipment at all for anyone really. I think I'm gonna have to do some like money grinding or something when all this is over. Actually, okay. So let's actually use life on uh, Radia because she's dead, and life will bring back a person back from the incapacitation or something. I guess you could call it that actually. Then again, this game calls. Incapacitation wounded for whatever dumb reason. They didn't want to confuse the kids even though they swear in this game. Well, in this translation at least. Not in this game, this translation. God, what do you think? Okay, so let me actually change up the uh, formations here. I probably want Rydia in the back right now, so yeah, let's do that. Let's bring out our three main guys on him. Rosa, Cecil, and... Young are both in the front, and Rydia and Gilbert are in the back. So that's pretty sweet. Alright, so let's continue onward and end this area, and I think only in this area. Okay, never mind. I was gonna go I was gonna go and say like this is pretty much the only area where random encounters aren't as annoying. But whatever. I got attacked anyway, so it's not my fault. But anyway, if I can explain Young a little bit more, actually. Well, if I can get to his turn. He has another command called Kick, which basically attacks all the opponents. He has Endure, which basically increases his defenses. And that's about it, actually. <laughs> that's all I can really say for Young's case. He's a pretty good physical attacker, if you know how to use him well. So, yeah, Young's basically the fighter of the group. And monks, apparently, aren't peaceful people as they are in real life, no. They are but they are physical beings of awesomeness that can do physical attacks like crazy. 
So Yang, so Yang's the uh, monk in there. Sabin from Final Fantasy VI is the monk. Uh, Tifa's the monk. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Gilbert just hide in. Yay! I could have used that Phoenix down in the last battle, and I could have used life in the last battle too. That's amazing. That is clearly the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me in the history of mankind. Okay, so let me actually get out a tent, actually, because we're going to need it. I am going to need it in order to rest up my guys a lot. Okay, and speaking of grinding, actually, when I was getting earlier, uh, grinding... Okay, so, over here... Ooh, enemies, okay, cool. Um, speaking of which, actually, uh... Of speaking of grinding... Uh... In terms of, like, uh, going for grinding, actually, I actually decided to not show you what levels, uh, Rydia and Rosa learn as they level up. Well, between this and the next video, I'll do some grinding, actually. And I won't show off what they've learned in the stuff. I'll actually just leave it in the description if I remember to do so. But don't worry, I research Rydia's levels and I plan to research Rosa's levels. Don't worry. Don't worry, I will do research, like I promised my mom. <laughs> because I know there's like one of you out there who's who's gonna be a mom to me and be and be all like, Did you research, huh? Did you research, son? And I'll be all like, Yes, mom! <laughs> Everybody's gaining levels, holy crap, and Rydia learned Toad, okay. So that will basically transform the enemies into Toads. And they won't be able to use any sort of special skills until they are cured of Toad, or they, or one uses Toad on themselves. So, and, ooh, okay, Gatlingers and Sword Fighters. Or Sword Rats. <laughs> sword Rats, go. I'm thinking of Kirby Fighters there for a second. Whatever. Kirby Fighters is just basically prototype version 01 of Smash 3DS before the E3 version came out. And actually, that will probably be the next Blind of Impressions episode, actually, of Kirby Triple Deluxe. Even though I clearly said Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is on the next is next on my hit list. Jesus. <laughs> I seriously need to get into more games, actually. And I'm definitely getting into more diverse franchises, actually, because Phoenix Wright. Yeah, because Phoenix Wright. I played the Dual Destinies uh, demo, actually. It was so it was so great. Totally not what I was what I was expecting it to be, and it was pretty good. And we got two gold meals from that. Holy crap! Okay, that's cool. Okay, so while we're not going to uh, end this episode off here, um, I do want to at least give you a little bit of a peek as to what we are going to do in Fabul because stuff. Because why? It's not like I want to keep these parts over 20 minutes or anything, god. And I seriously need to practice more, because I'm up to a three hour mark in my practice file, but anyway, MUSIC TIME! Yep. They did this quality of music on the Super Nintendo. Fabul's music is one of my favorite town themes in any game ever. It sounds so unnecessarily epic, and yet it is epic. I love this song so much. And because of that, now we're going to get new weapons. <laughs> But first things first, let's actually get these uh, demon equipment for Cecil because he needs equipment upgrades. Actually, not like uh, Yang does. He always he already has a claw equipped. So yeah, let's get him the Thunderclaw. 
All right, so this is the point in the thing actually where where now we have more stuff to give to the people. Yeah, to the people, okay. And I think I might actually have to sell some equipment off screen actually because well, we're carrying an abundance of unused or unneeded uh, equipment as of right now, so yeah, we're going to have to do that. And of course the end is where you're also going to be buying your things. And let me see. I'm going to I'm going to get well, yeah, whatever. I'll just get yeah, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> just that. <laughs> and now I'm going to have to sort these things. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they did this before like Final Fantasy like 6 or 5 even just completely like revamped this whole inventory system and made it more manageable, I assume. Okay, so now that we have all sort of equipment all set and ready on a Cecil and Yang, actually, because that's what I should be doing, actually. He can use both hands, actually, for the things. And... No, hey. Okay. I'm gonna have to do the... I'm gonna have to do, like... The next part of the game, like, completely naked or something. <laughs> oh boy, that's gonna be a thing. But, uh, anyway. Now that we did indeed make it to Fabul, we are going to stop this episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, we are going to, well, see what we can do in Fabul in order to help out the cause against Golbez. So, I shall see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.